in this video we are going to discuss about ETL concept so what does ETL mean what are the different types of load and uh, different types of ETL tool available in the current market open source and paid tools and different um, uh, criteria for ETL tool selection process let's start with the uh, abbreviation of ETL so ETL defines to extract transform and load to so extract means pulling or getting the data from source system to so whatever uh, for record tables and transform it a simple word converting one form to another form transforming into another form based on our requirement and loading loading into the target table so extracting process so let's say take an example so here these are the two tables available in different so uh, different schemas or different databases where it has employee ID name and salary columns with different values when you extract the data from two tables you will get um, a billing ID uh, three, one, two, three from source table one and uh, one to three from source table two. So we have six records extracted now, and the next step would be transforming. So the transforming rule, right? So it will be defined by business team uh, based on the end user requirement. So for example, so in our case, we are defining the um, uh, uh, business rule like I need records with salary greater than 1500 I don't want the uh, records which are less than 1500 in that case so we will be neglecting it um, consider that is salary less than or equal to 1500 in that case that is we will be dropping the um, employee records which are having less than or equal to thousand but in this case you can see two records have been dropped off so uh, four records now uh, filtered and uh, ready for next phase loading so now these um, active four records will be loaded into target table so this is what extract transform and load process happens so now gets in, get into the uh, ETL load types there are two types of loading uh, will be there so one is full load initial load or bulk load and another type would be inter incremental or daily or CDC load or CCD load so let's get into the um, uh, very informative way of understanding uh, understanding of load types so le let's take a case study to our retail stop has been running uh, since two years and they are maintaining the two years of data in the uh, uh, single database now uh, now they want to um, load the two years of data into data rows and and they want to um, they want to keep the loading process every day into data rows the, the process how it happens is so initially they will load the uh, two years of data and after that so every day data will be loaded from uh, transactional database SQL server to data warehouse data the first step would be loading the two years of data that is called full load or initial load bulk load which is where it happens uh, it loads all the data existing in the uh, source table to uh, data warehouse this type of load will be called as a full load initial load or bulk load so once it is done the everyday data will be loaded everyday data loaded 
is called incremental load or daily load or CCD, CD load. CDC means change data capture. So we can discuss about how the change data capture works and uh, how the incremental load happens. So for example, so the same example we are getting. So day one, so we will be loading all the um, uh, data which are available in the source and will be moving to data warehouse and day one itself so we will be mapping the daily load data load at data to day, day to run so it will check for the uh, the job will check for any changes it means any new record created in target or update update or delete happens in the uh, source table if there any changes happens then the changes will be loaded into data rows and day 3 they take an example of day 3 so if there is no changes happens yeah, it could be a holiday or it could be a uh, Sunday then that case so we will not be loading the data then uh, we will notify uh, we will send a notification mail to uh, respective team where uh, that uh, intimating that uh, there is no changes in the available in the source system so let's start with the uh, ETL tools so there are m multiple plenty of ETL tools available in the market so these are the um, uh, very competitive ETL tools available in the Informatica that would be the first one in and Talent Open Studio, IBM Data Stage, SQL Server, Hubin Show and Oracle Data Integrator but it's not in the same order what um, the uh, demand not based on the demand it's randomly I have collected and I have put into it and um, the ETL tool selection criteria right? so there are different um, uh, criteria will be there in to select a tool so um, the first one will be handling different type of sources in terms of uh, heterogeneous data load so we, the tool should provide the option to handle with the different uh, source formats so like um, uh, database, flat files, XMLs and um, uh, big data like it and uh, the performance of the job would be um, great and the usability maintenance and the new features and the support the quality of the output and the cost of the tool and everything will be considered as part of the tool selection criteria so that's all about in this video